Hey guys, how's it going today? So we're going to learn about conformal coating. This is silicone modified it, conformal coating. You want to make sure it is the silicone and not the acrylic one because the silicone does a much better job I've been hearing. This stuff works very well for when you're uh, basically putting your quad on the ground, kind of like in the grass, it's kind of damp sometimes and you could fry your quad by doing that. So you brush this on the electronics, the flight controller, the PDB, the ESCs, your VTX, your receiver, and your camera being careful with doing that because you don't want to get in a sensor. So alright, um, I'll show you what we do. So here's the flight controller. Here's a flight control I have laying around. So you want to watch the ports here. You don't want to get nothing in these ports, blob it all in here if you're going to use these ports. If you're not going to use them, it's fine then go for it. But you just want to make sure if you use them, you don't want to do that because then you're going to cause yourself problems. Your VCP port is your very next one you have to worry about. Don't go slopping it all over this thing here because it's going to run all down inside there and then cause you a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of troubles. So other than that, be careful of the ports. Um, if you have a bind button on it, or a bootloader button, I'm sorry, make sure you don't do too much on the bootloader. This one doesn't have one. If you have... Uh, a 4-in-1 ESC and it's going to pin into your flight controller how this one does you kind of don't want to get it down inside there because the pins aren't going to make connection at that point so I'll show you how we get going with doing that take the lid off of this guy here and you can knock this over so you want to be very very careful I have done it myself so normally I just kind of would put make this port here because well I would use all these ports on this because that's how it works so I'm not going to put none in none of those ports at all so I just take and just we want to just brush it on kind of just like painting nails if you ever painted your nails or did any model painting or something you know like that that's all you're doing you're just gonna coat everything I kind of like just to like let it be real wet and kind of move it around on the board That way it coats it pretty evenly. And you want to make sure you get everything in there. Because if you miss a spot and then you happen to be out in the rain or like I say the dew on the grass or whatnot, you're going to get in trouble. And you see I got my finger over that VCP port that's to know don't put too much around that just kind of be real easy around that area because it will run back in down in there and then it will be terrible to hook up to beta flight so just like that and then put your lid set your piece down put your lid back on your bottle I'm telling you that's a very good tip because you will knock that over I have done two bottles so far so there you have it and then do that coat go ahead and let that dry and then go ahead and put another coat onto it and you are now see formal coated and you will see a video coming up on my channel where I take a drone that is see formal coated and plug it in and dump it in a bucket of water and then pull it back out and show you that it still plugs in and props still start so there you have it I hope this helps uh, you out there on your see formal coating it works it helps at bottles about 20 bucks on Amazon and roughly 12 to 15 on eBay. But just remember, silicone modified it. Modified, whatever. I'm, I talk funny, so. <laughs> but yeah, make sure it's silicone. I cannot stress that enough. Make sure you don't get it in your VCP port or your connections. Your little JST connections here or your ESC if, it, if you have a 4 in 1 and it's going to pin. Keep that in mind and hey, there you have it. Now you have C formal coated your drone, conformal coated, but we say C formal for short. And you can now, if you get caught out in the rain flying, nothing to worry about. And if it's just, well, slightly drizzling, you want to fly around, have fun. That's what it's made to do. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.